All right, let me try to help you run this down because the article, the news just broke on something that actually happened on Sunday. And it's regarding a strange entrance of federal authorities into that Sikh temple where there was that shooting in Wisconsin. And when they went in there, they went and they basically picked up a guy. And they're calling him Joel something. It doesn't matter. That's just probably not true. I already kind of broke the story earlier that I think that the guy who shot the people people in the spa with a revolver may have been a Sikh taking revenge on the shooter, which I personally believe that the actual shooter in Aurora uh, was a Wisconsin native. And, you know, feel free to watch my videos to try to figure that out. But what I'm trying to say here is that this was like weak and now it's strong because for some reason a week later when they were probably having services in the church somebody was like hey there's a weirdo dude here come on in here and so that gave the federal authorities the reason to go in there they go in there and they supposedly go over there and they find this guy with a backpack he's got ammo in there he's got zip ties he's got duct tape Right, and then remember, they, they the official story is they let this guy go, saying, "Oh, there's nothing we can get him on." He said he was right. He was going to write a book. I've even talked about writing a book about all of this stuff. He's going to write a book. He's got like crime scene tape from Aurora. He's got like a notebook with like gibberish. You know, they didn't want to bother telling us what was in the notebook. This is all just a lot of it fabrication. But what does he have? He has a backpack with ammo. Okay. Well, what, what's really the case is um, this is our spa shooter, our guy who it was in exacting vengeance on probably the shooter and not just the Sikh temple with others, but uh, the main gunman in Aurora. Okay, and you have to understand because when... Radcliffe Hofton, the guy who supposedly did the shooting in the spa shooting, there's just so many shootings, it's like it's like crazy right now. But this guy is apparently black. Radcliffe Hofton's black. They specifically, the earliest witnesses describe this dude as, you know, not African American, but ethnic. They were using actually using the term ethnic, you know, dark skinned is what they were saying. And so God, I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to, you know, help you um, see all this. So that was a. They're using Radcliffe Hofton to say that he was the he was the shooter. He's actually just sort of being patsied, um, you know. And uh, his wife was reported to be like saying, and they they actually deleted this article. But luckily, I've you know some of us took snapshots, and also I quoted it in the description there, and it just says. You know, she actually was talking to him like she didn't know him, saying, Sir. She was actually calling him Sir, and that she even said something like, These, uh, Sir, please, these are peaceful people here. Like, she, you would talk like that to somebody you think either A, doesn't understand your language, like you're, or is having a hard time with your language, or wouldn't understand your culture. Uh, this is probably an in, somebody from India, India. Uh, a Sikh, you know, this is this is like it, it, this would have been similar to like attacking Eskimos and then not expecting Eskimos in the Eskimo community to not talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? I'm guessing. So you know what inevitably occurs is the Sikh flies over, gets a revolver, goes in there and kills the gunman. Okay, to get revenge. Then he gets a uh, sanctuary at the temple. Then, during the services the following week, the feds move in and they get this guy. And then they say they released him because they didn't have anything on him. That's just not true. Uh, I'm expecting, like, if he is an Indian national, to have repercussions on a now transnational or international scale here. And um, why? Because, you know... What are his family in India going to be saying? Yeah, he went over there, and so what are the India? You know, the Indians will get tipped off to what's going on, and I'm saying India loosely. I don't know where Sikhs are likely to be, and I think it's India, so that's why I'm saying India. 
And uh, that's not saying that India wouldn't isn't somehow compromised. I'm sure it is. Okay, have I covered everything? I hope so. It's like I really want to do a graphic on everything. It's just um, right now exhausting the crap out of me because I was just talking about like had this been one year earlier, 2011, 2010, this would have all been huge news. Uh, but it's not. Why? Because you know, it's basically, we're coming up to the Mayan calendar when it says it's going to be the end of the world. We're having hurricanes thrown at us and turn, just to cover shit up. So it's like, you know, it's being drowned out, but it's very significant. And in the future, you'll be able to uh, see this because if you stop watching it, you'll be lost in the disinformation.